passing variables and objects to methods. When you pass a variable to a method, it's passed by value. That means a copy of the variable is passed to the method. However, when you pass an object to a method, it's passed by reference, meaning the actual object is passed to the method. And let's see what the difference is through an example. So in this example, I'm going to create a method called add public static void add that's going to simply take two parameters int a and int b and it's going to print them out to the screen the sum of them system that out that print ln a plus b now i'm going to create two variables int var1 is f 5 and int var2 is 7 and I'm going to call the add method by passing var1, comma, var2. And this is going to print out the sum of 7 plus 5, which is 12. And just to make sure that var1 and var2 are still 5 and 7, let's do this system.out.println var1 and system.out.println var2. And we could see that var1 and var2 are both still 5 and 7. But what if I was to write some code in my add method that sets a to 10 and b to 35? So do you think that var1 and var2 after calling the add method are still going to be 5 and 7? Or are they going to be 10 and 35? So let's run the program and they're still 5 and 7. So this is a pass by value demonstration, meaning that we're passing 5 and 7 to var1 and var2 to this add method. A becomes 5 and B becomes 7. It's making a copy of the value and the copy of it is being used here. So when I'm reassigning A and B to 10 and 35, it's just changing the copy of the variables that were passed to that method. So you can pass whatever primitive variables that you want to a method and they're completely safe because they're passed by value, meaning a copy is being made. In a different video I'll show you how the pass by reference type works where you can, if we were to pass objects to these methods instead and we try to change the data in the object, it'll actually change it. And you need to be careful when you're passing objects to methods.